Next to six, a twisted case of arson. A Detroit firefighters, uh, five Detroit firefighters were injured battling the blaze, and now police sources say they know why a 73-year-old man torched the house that was set on fire once before. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead has the motive and what's being done right now to get rid of the charred aftermath in southwest Detroit. Several days after an arson fire completely destroyed this home in southwest Detroit, we're learning more about how long neighbors will have to live next to this and the connection between the man arrested and the house. They are the faces of two of Detroit's bravest heroes, firefighters Alex Rodriguez and Mark Taylor, both undergoing surgeries at Detroit Receiving Hospital for severe injuries, one suffering a broken leg, the other third degree burns after fire tore through this home at 8120 Whitaker on Thursday. When the structure collapsed, it collapsed on them. Uh, they're still in pretty bad shape, uh, possibly career ending uh, injuries. Three additional firefighters injured have since been treated and released and they remain on leave. And today, sources revealing to us 73 year old Henry Ben Radom, the man jailed without bond on numerous felony arson charges, had acted in vengeance, setting the home on fire to retaliate against a prostitute whom he thought ripped him off and lived in the home. You got kids around here. You know, playing. Then you do damage to the people next door, too. We also called the city's building authority to get more answers and find out if a demolition plan has been put in place. They've promised to start to clear this mess within a week and go after the property owner who let it sit vacant, attracting trouble. We're putting it out for bid today. We should have equipment on site within seven days to clean up that mess. Because this isn't right and we're going to get it fixed. Those wishing to donate to help the hospitalized firefighters can do so at a GoFundMe page we've posted to WXYZ.com. Although the city tells us their medical expenses are fully covered, loved ones are asking for even more support. The one with the burns is going is uh, undergoing uh, grafting this week. The other one uh, is having pins inserted. Just off of Werner, this home is in a high traffic area. Another reason the city says it's a top priority to have it cleaned up as quickly as possible. We'll stay on top of this to make sure it happens. From Southwest Detroit, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.